In the American diet, the top sources of added sugar are your soft drinks, flavored yogurts, cookies, candies, and pretty much any processed foods. But added sugar is also in items you might not expect, like soups, breads, cured meats, and ooh, lots of sugar and ketchup. So this makes it easy to overdo it. But studies show artificial sweeteners could also be bad for your heart. Whether it's the yellow one or pink one, replacing sugar with artificial sweeteners might not be your best choice. I mean, they're chemically processed, right? Splenda actually has chlorine in it. It's like a chlorine is in the compound. A new study in the British Medical Journal found artificial sweeteners are linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular and coronary heart disease. Basically what they saw is that people who had as little as two packets a day or like four ounces of soda, which you know most sodas are more than four ounces, they had a 9% higher risk of heart attack and 18% higher risk of stroke. It can also mess with metabolism. I think the body's kind of like, well, should I secrete insulin? Wait, this is not real sugar or, you know, so the whole balance between insulin and glucose over time is getting totally screwed up. Baptist Health holistic cardiologist Mona Shaw says there are some good healthy alternatives. I usually recommend to my patients stevia, monk fruit, and there's a newer kid on the block called allulose, um, which is actually has some fiber in it as well. All of them are plant-based and help you get the sweet taste you're craving without harming your heart. So you've probably also heard of Truvia. So maybe you're wondering if Truvia and Stevia are the same thing. Now both come from the Stevia plant, but Truvia is more processed and has additional ingredients.